You know, the one thing that I've always ignored in this channel is pallet wood furniture and pallet wood woodworking. And I don't want to ignore it anymore. Here's a pallet. Uh, we picked this out of a dumpster like everybody else does. And uh, we brought it home in our car. And uh, we're going to use it to do some stuff. So the first step in using uh, pallet wood for woodworking is to first, uh, you know, get it from a source that uh, normally isn't trying to give you woodworking. So there's that extra challenge of like, where do I get my pallet wood before I start doing my woodworking? So it doesn't, you know, it's not like you just go to a store and buy some wood and start doing woodworking. That's easy stuff. That's cute, right? This is the real challenge. You go out, you, you look for the pallet wood, you make deals with people who may or may not be giving you pallet wood or they're not allowed to give it to you. Uh, and then you have the added challenge of whether you know the wood is treated or not. You never know. Sometimes it never tells you that. So, you know, you never know what you're going to get. It's like a box of chocolates, right? You get your pallet. All of a sudden, you have the wood already dimensioned for you. Like this thing, it's a coffee table. This, this width here, exact dimension of a coffee table. You cut it in half, it's a night table. Very accessible, very fast. Um, everybody's doing it. Uh, my, I might as well do it too. I mean, Building a nice workbench, yeah, that's cute. You know, I built the, that night table, uh, the class I took for a week. And I, you know, that's all cute and everything. But but this thing, I could just go out and find a pallet and start woodworking on this thing. And it, this doesn't beat it. And all you need for this is a hammer with a claw. This is a hammer they sell everywhere. Those fancy Warrington hammers. You can keep that in your fancy uh, hand tool workshop. You just need a nice old hammer. This is a good old 16 ounce plumb hammer. You need this to basically take off these boards. You need to pry them off and then you need to get these nails off. It's a very minimalist way of doing woodworking. You just need a hammer. Uh, you need a sander. Maybe if you're really like, you know, fancy, you want to use a sander, but you just need the hammer and this distressed wood. And you probably need like a tetanus shot. But other than that, you know, because you could get you could, the rusty nails they've been sitting here for a while god knows where this uh, pallet came from we left it outside sitting against a tree for a good year gave it a little bit of mold a little bit of uh, worms on it and that just gave gives you that extra character right you grab a hammer you pull these things off you cut it in half and grab some uh, brads and nails and just nail them together and all of a sudden you have a piece of furniture that looks like you've had it for years and years and years like you've had it sitting outside your you know door in the weather for years and years and years and you now have it inside the house for some reason you have this fancy awesome furniture that nobody else has because you made it yourself all with pallet wood that somebody was throwing away and you didn't they didn't even know you picked it up from them that is just genius so you don't have to like get a piece of furniture and then put some finish on it and then have it sit in your house for generations hope it lasts generations hope it is made well and then over time it's going to start looking a little weathered and going to gain some character gain some personality that'll take you decades this thing you're done you're done in half an hour, you're done 45 minutes, don't spend more than 45 minutes on pallet wood furniture. It is cheap, it is easy. Uh, instead of like, you know, buying those fancy jeans and wearing them for years and years and years so they can have just the right amount of rips and stuff in the right places, just get one from the store that's already pre-ripped, already pre-distressed. And and that's, that's the pallet wood for you. You already have it. When I'm taking too long to make my fancy projects, I'm gonna use the pallet wood furniture and make some quick projects in and around the house. Of course, gonna have some tetanus shots lying around because you never know what's in these things but it's small I mean you have furniture already so so that's pretty easy right and and that's that's what I'm going to do in my channel uh, a little bit more from now on I'm not going to use pallet wood to make furniture I'm sure it is good for some people and some people make some really fantastic things with it. Uh, they go for that distressed barn wood look and all that is great and fine. It's just not my thing. I'm uh, trying to look for some uh, precision, fine uh, woodworking. Uh, that is really my goal. So I'm going to stay away from pallet wood. The reason we have that pallet is because uh, I wanted to build a, a compost bin uh, in the end of our property in the backyard and that's about all pallet wood is good for for me. Uh, but anyway, if you use pallet wood furniture, more power to you. Uh, I actually have seen some really nice, cool videos of people who've done uh, pallet wood furniture and it works out well for them. Uh, it's just not my thing. Uh, I hope you like the humor in it. And uh, if you don't, that's fine too. Uh, but that was just a joke. Uh, happy April Fool's Day and I will see you in the next video.